Through the 19th and 20th centuries, Western culture has been overwhelmed by a fascination with spirit communication and paranormal phenomenon. Some of the most influential people in the modern era have been influenced themselves by New Age spiritism and the occult. From Mary Todd Lincoln, the wife of Abraham Lincoln, who held seances in the White House to communicate with her son Willie, who had died at a young age, to Hillary Rodham Clinton, who supposedly contacted the ghost of Eleanor Roosevelt with New Age psychic Jean Dixon. Hillary is pictured here submitting herself to the power of an American Indian shaman. And a special thanks to the members of the Roosevelt family who are here, and to one who is not, Eleanor, who made sure that the four freedoms were included in the preamble to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. I know that because as all of you famously learned when I served as president, my wife, now the Secretary of State, was known to commune with Eleanor on a regular basis. And so she called me last night on her way home from Peru to remind me to say that. that Eleanor had talked to her and reminded her that I should say that. Hillary Clinton has been cast as a rather divisive figure in politics. Channeling Eleanor Roosevelt may in fact be her means of shaking off that stigma, which could cost her the 2016 election. Now, one of the things that I have learned about Hillary Clinton is that one of her heroes, her mentors, was Saul Alinsky. And her senior thesis was about Saul Alinsky. This was someone that she greatly admired and that affected all of her philosophy subsequently. Now, interestingly enough, let me tell you something about Saul Alinsky. He wrote a book called Rules for Radicals. On the dedication page, it acknowledges Lucifer, the original radical who gained his own kingdom. Which actions by Hillary Clinton do you think are the most satanic? Which what? Which actions by Hillary Clinton do you think are the most satanic? The willingness to kill babies, innocent babies. What do you think about what happened in Syria with her uh, financing the rebels, which turned out to be the Islamic State? All you have to do is look and see what's happened already. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Those are outraged Bernie Sanders supporters protesting in the streets of Philadelphia as the DNC email scandal causes chaos before the convention even starts. possible scenario for the Democrats on the week of their convention, 20,000 emails hacked and leaked by WikiLeaks. Emails that proved the DNC and the Clinton campaign did in fact rig the primary to protect Clinton and to stop Bernie Sanders. I'm going to talk about three major themes that have emerged so far. The first thing that the DNC worked with the Clinton campaign to create narratives that would harm Sanders with certain voting blocks. One email written May 5th to DNC Communications Director Luis Miranda from another party official suggests looking at Bernie Sanders' faith, saying, quote, It might make no difference, but for Kentucky and West Virginia, can we get someone to ask about his beliefs? It went on to say this, quote, Does he believe in a God? He had skated on saying that he has a Jewish heritage. I think I read he's an atheist. Evening from Philadelphia tonight where the Democratic National Convention hasn't even started and we already have our first major controversy. The chair of the DNC, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, has announced her resignation. It comes after those leaked DNC emails. Bernie Sanders supporters say the emails prove the party favored Hillary Clinton all along. Immediately, right now, we have got to defeat Donald Trump. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. 